All right, family, so welcome back. Here we are with another Pink Oyster Grow video. This tech actually is applicable to any, uh, any type of species that will grow in straw. So I already have my straw loaded into my bucket. I just did this to get a rough estimate of how much straw I'm going to need. This is also the grow bucket. So for this setup, you're gonna want to, of course, have your bucket prep that I demoed before. I'm using uh, some weed seeding straw. I've used easy straw in the past and had great results. Never used this straw before, but I assume it's kind of the same, so I'm gonna use it. I like these straws, it's already chopped up in small pieces. If you get like a big bale of straw, then you're going to have to chop that up to get to do this project. Um, it's gonna be really difficult working with them those long bales that aren't chopped. So either chop it up or or get this. Uh, an easy way to chop that straw up actually is to put it in a barrel and use a weed whacker and just weed whack it in the barrel. I've heard of that. So that's what we're doing here. So I have my bucket of straw. I rigged this set up to strain, to soak and strain it because pretty much what we're going to do is load the straw in and soak it overnight, 12 to 24 hours. I, however, um, I like this method. It's easy for me, especially working small scale. So I have a standard milk crate, which acts as a big colander. And then I have this, uh, this 20 gallon storage tote that it fits, it nestles into, and I made a spigot on it which is actually not even really necessary for this project, but um, I do that for grain in the bucket. So I also do this setup for doing my soaking my grains. So I'm just gonna drop this in, and I'm gonna load up the straw inside. And then um, for every, um, and then we have the water here. We're gonna need more water in this actually. It needs to be like five gallons. So with the um, with lime pasteurization, with cold water pasteurization, you can use just standard pickling lime. Nothing fancy, right? So it's uh, about six grams of lime per gallon of water. So I've already loaded. 30 uh, grams of this lime into that bucket. So when he fills it with uh, about five gallons, I'll pour it in here and I'll see how much more needs to go in so I can fully submerge the straw because you're gonna wanna submerge the straw. So what I'll probably do is, I'll probably put this in here and like a weight or something, um, a brick, there's bricks out here. So I'll probably do that. Or the other thing I think I do, I do sometimes is I'll actually put this lid in and then put the bucket back on top of the lid to weigh it down. So yeah, that's pretty much um, how to prepare the straw for growing like oysters or um, any, well, cause that's what I'm growing. So anything that can grow in straw, this is how you can do a cold water pasteurization for that project.